Hey there, Postal here. Today we are looking at a game that I've been holding on to for a little while. Um, I had such a fun time in the LA 160. Um, I had quite a few games that uh, well, I didn't want to have a week of LA 160 basically is what it comes down to when I was grinding this plane. Um, and although I probably won't be posting any of the other videos about the LA 160, at least any of my old videos, quote unquote old from you know a few weeks ago, this video uh, needs to be posted. So um, bear with me one more time as we do the LA 160, at least for the last time for a while, because I will be um, doing a lot of um, a lot of the suggestions that you submitted to me. I really appreciate it. I'll have to get them kind of set up, so to speak. Um, but let's hop into it. So I've got to say, the the gameplay for this match isn't exceptional. Um, the end result, as far as personal points is concerned, is. But I had so many games that were very similar to this, um, just situations where I didn't focus on getting a high personal point amount. This plane can do that. So this match I did focus on wanting to try to get the highest amount of personal points I could. Um, I failed at that, as you'll see. Um, but it's a good map for a plane like this. We've got a centralized airbase. I'm taking uh, the long way to that centralized airbase because I'm top tier. I figure I might as well get this garrison on the way there. I'm supremely confident in this plane and its abilities. Um, you know, like any of the planes that have two 30 mil guns, it takes some getting used to. Um, might take a little while to get them on target, so to speak. But once you're synced up with the guns, this plane is so freaking good. Um, I'm not hanging out of the garrison anymore. It's going to get flipped soon enough. I've done what I need to do. And I want to make sure that we can get the um, central airbase so we can keep it. Um, I can't do a lot versus the uh, mining facilities. This plane, although it is pretty good at taking out ground attack planes, it shouldn't be its first priority. And mining facilities don't have any, um, you know, light fighters or multi-role fighters to go after, so I'm not going to waste my time there. My goal is to own the center, and even if we don't get a mining facility, um, our bombers and ground attack planes can you know continue to spawn and will eventually win if I own the center here. And so that's what I'm gonna do. Any plane that comes into my bubble is gonna get popped. And so right now I'm just literally as soon as I kill a plane, I pop the target on to the next plane, the next closest plane, and I start going for that plane. Trying to get this uh, multi roll here. Guns overheated, which you know happens with 30s. Um, you know you've got some give and some take when it comes to 30 mil guns. And so now we're heading back to the center a little bit more. Uh, I was kind of contemplating getting that garrison, but okay, can't do much about that. Again, my thought process is the most important thing I can do is hang on to the center here. Took, took a look up there. And we've got, you know, an LA on the enemy team. Um, he is going to be a top priority. Um, if I've got him in my sights, I want to get him, and I want to make sure that I know where he's at since he can sneak up on me. Everything else, I feel pretty confident that I can outmaneuver, um, or that I at least can get my guns on target. Uh, all right. So that C Fang, I felt confident that I could get. He was lower on hit points and I was feeling pretty um, in sync with the guns. So a couple good shots from the 30s took him out quick. And you can see how quickly these guns just tear up a plane. We're at, uh, well, we've already got an Akamatsu, we've got our grade three, and we're not even 100 capture points into the game. Um, so now I see we got this guy over here. Can we get him knocked out? Aim a little bit up, got him. 
right, so we've killed everything so quickly we don't even have a lot in here, but I don't want to get sucked into a battle outside the center zone. I mean, if I can get a couple hits into a garrison, um, I'll do that. But I saw this LA-160 coming in, and again, I don't want him taking out all the defense aircraft. I want to have supreme control on the center, and we're up to grade two. Yep. So again, this this plane excels at owning a sector. Um, even if there was like a Yak-19 here, you've got longer reach with your guns, and you hit so much harder. As you just have to you have to be mindful of what's around you. Yeah, right. Don't get into a straight-up dogfight with a Yak-19. Um, you know, you're probably not going to come out on top. But if you know what's coming in, if you know what's moving around, you're able to get a couple shots. All you need to do is get a couple shots on target, and um, you know you can really do well. All right, so we know that we've got uh, quite a lot coming in. We've got this guy out of here, and we're losing points. Uh, you know they've got that mining facility, but right now my goal is again just to continue to own the center. They'll keep coming in, and I'll keep killing them. Um, and eventually we'll flip a mining facility and then we'll start um, you know, accelerating our point capture. Kind of zooming in here, going too fast. The LA-160 is a really, really quick plane. Um, sometimes you need to hit the air brakes. We're at a grade one and we're a quarter of the way into this battle. And yeah, I mean, I'm feeling really good about this game and what we're going to be able to do and so right now just keep on keeping on keep on defending um, when I'm attacking planes head-on like that I'm making sure that I'm at a slightly different angle so that way as you saw I went above that ME sometimes I'll go below a plane sometimes I'll be a little bit left a little bit right but I'm never going directly at them um, and there's a good reason why you wouldn't want to do that that um, Soviet multi-role tore me a new one, got uh, my engine knocked out, but I had enough momentum to where I was able to uh, turn it around on him, and we've got an ace. And I knew that I had my guns on target there enough to um, you know, make him squirrel away, uh, but we're a third of the way into the battle with an ace. I'm feeling really good about it. And we've got a mining facility. And at this point, I know the squall line's coming in. Even though we're down on points and down on sectors, we're not down by much. And the game's not even halfway done. So if we continue this, we're going to be able to easily get, you know, 25 or maybe even 30 frags. And uh, the squall line will be in, and they won't be able to do anything about that. So, um, you know, trying to be mindful of what's coming around me, making sure that I'm not getting too many more hits. If I can knock out enough of these guys, I can take a pause and um, get my heal on. So we've got that heavy going away, not able to get him. Let's get target uh, back on this ME. Uh, he's wiggling around a little bit, so I'm not able to get my 30s on him. Um, but right now my goal is just to clear this sector, and that way I can, um, calm, like I said, calm down and get some health back. So we're going to get him now. Excellent. What's this coming in here? Alright, pretty low health. 228. Didn't think he was coming at me. Oh shoot, he's coming at me. And yeah, that just happened. Um, an incorrect split moment decision there. Um, I thought he was going to continue turning. And so I could stay on him. He decided to, he was turning for just a half second and then turned back to me. And now everything I've just built up is lost, right? Um, this game uh, relied on me owning the center and um, all that got thrown out the window just because I died, you know, 30 seconds after squall line. So I was able to accomplish my mission of having a really good personal point uh, game, um, but it just goes to show 
you know, how a game can be tossed just by not, really by not reacting quick enough, not paying enough attention, not being mindful of my hit points, a lot of different things um, led to, you know, my demise, so to speak, at this particular juncture. And I'm just kind of hoping that my team would do something about it, you know, pull, pull a victory from the jaws of defeat. Uh, but unfortunately, that's not going to happen. In fact, the opposite is going to happen. The enemy um, goes on to own all the sectors, and that's the game. So that's how you get a grade one ace 23,000 personal point game. Um, and fail to win. Uh, we, like I said, even with the um, less points, uh, less sectors, I was very confident that as long as I was alive, that game was a win. Let's head back. Okay, so we had 23 frags. Um, pretty disappointing. I was really disappointed in myself, and you know, should have been able to pay attention and see what's going on on the map. Might have gotten a little cocky, I don't know. I don't think so at the time. I knew more what my health was at. Um, I just think I made a bad decision when that 228 was um, coming head on. Um, but this isn't an uncommon game for the LA-160. Especially on a map like this, if you, um, you know, can own the center sector, this plane can do really well. And typically, most games all, you know, go to the center and head out to a garrison and make sure we can flip that, yada, yada, yada. Um, but in this instance, I was really trying to get the most out of this plane. And getting 23 frags, I don't think it was out of the realm of possibilities that I could have gotten 30 by the end if I hadn't had died. Um, at least 25, 28 maybe. Um, but this is why this plane's a keeper to me, and this is why I like playing this plane. And yeah, so I would recommend you know setting this plane up for some decent uh, maneuverability. I had my pilot set up for Marksman One, Engine Guru One, and Aerodynamics Expert. This plane's actually quite quick, um, deceptively quick. Uh, has a lot of maneuverability, uh, but you can really boost that up, uh, as I did. Um, with my um, additional, I've got the um, special project, luckily, for the lightweight power unit. I've also got the lightweight wing frame, and I even put the G-suit on here because this does hold its speed pretty well, and I figure that G-suit will definitely help me get on target. So I feel very confident um, that, you know, I might not be able to outmaneuver a Yak-19, but I can outmaneuver everything else, and I might be able to outmaneuver a Yak-19 for just long enough to, to save me, especially with these two ridiculous 30s on the front. And so, again, this game wasn't um, an anomaly. Uh, I had quite a few games, not 23,000 point games, uh, but quite a few good games, solid 14,000 to 18,000 games, uh, and they were all you know, spinning in the center. Um, you can do that very easily with this plane. It's got just, just enough altitude performance to um, reach some of the mid-range uh, bombers and heavy fighters. It's got a lot of speed to it. So, yeah, it's it's not um, you know it's not like riding a bike as far as the playstyle is concerned with these guns. But if you play it consistently, if you're um, keeping the guns on target and you know focusing on kind of balancing between the accuracy and your maneuverability, you can definitely excel with this plane. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this particular battle. Uh, <laughs> I really enjoy this plane. Um, otherwise, I'm going to be continuing to work on some of those requests that you guys have put down for me and um, some other planes that I really enjoy flying. I'll make sure to pass those along as well. Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day.